to your calls on 083-913-8955. For now, it's time for us to get into the Friday Music Club. If you're an artist, musician, a performer in and around Algoa country, uh, we're looking for you. All you have to do is go to our website, algoafm.co.za, or send an email through to mc at algoafm.co.za, and you get to chat to us for a few minutes, and we find out about you and what, what you're up to. This afternoon, we welcome Sean Akilios. 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 I was about to say, I was going to say Akilios, and you luckily, you've actually kind of uh, corrected, corrected me. You, yeah, it. I've been watching too many of those movies. <laughs> you, you know which ones, the 300s and everything. Well, it still would have been okay um, if you said uh, Achilleos, that's the mm. Greek pronunciation, or Achilleos, that's English. Mm. So. so welcome to the show, Friday afternoon, Friday Music Club. You born and bred in PE, right? Yes, I am. And uh, you've kind of seen the different, the change. I mean, how the, the, the industry, it, it was a mini industry and it's kind of established, isn't it? Um, in some ways, yes. In some mm. ways, no. I would say... Um, uh, for solo artists, there's mm. definitely more of a platform now. Um, but I would say years ago, I remember when I was at college and mm. in high school, um, there were a lot more bands in, in Port Elizabeth. Mm. And you could actually go out and see them all, and they would have great contracts assigned to hotels and mm. stuff, and they would have free accommodation yeah. in the hotels. But they wouldn't necessarily be bands from Port Elizabeth. They would be Cape Town, Johannesburg. But it was still vibrant. Yes, mm. it, was, it was great, yes. Yeah, I mean, I mean, okay, you're a solo artist. I still remember years ago. I mean, you know, the hotels would have those pianos, and people would be playing them. I yes. find that I go into hotels these days, and they're only just standing bare. And I always want to. I want to go and play, but you're thinking, oh, you don't know if it's it's just there for you show. know for show. I mean, do they still do that? I think to a certain extent they do, um, but I don't know if people really. Uh, you know, I think a lot of people have changed. Musical styles have changed, and I don't think that a lot of people really go out to listen mm. to classical music or go out to listen to somebody playing the piano. Yeah. I personally would, mm -hmm. but I don't know if there's a big enough market for market. That, I mean, when people coming to eat. Having just the piano tinkling in the background, I mean, oh, brilliant. Oh, isn't that, yes. is, you know, yeah. I mean, yes. I remember 10 years ago, that's what used to happen. You know, there's a couple of places where you could go and do that, but I don't see that happening. But let's go, let's go back to you. I mean, when you started, obviously, as you said, it was vibrant. There was always an opportunity. And uh, I mean, uh, over the past couple of decades, you still remember how that first moment when you first had a you know, opportunity to stand in front of people and sing and get that applause. Yes, I do, and it was nerve-wracking. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> but still kind of makes you feel good when you think about it, hey? It does, yes, absolutely. I think um, performing live is really what, what's the, you know, that's the real deal. Mm. Um, you can always go to a studio, record a CD, mm. do your tracks or whatever, but I think performing live is really what it's all about. Mm. And obviously when you started your journey, you started off when you were studying and you got into... You know, you were kind of roped in. You kind of didn't believe that it was going to be happening. Hey, I mean, it was what your music teacher that got you into it. Hey? Uh, well, you know, I, I never, I couldn't really write songs mm. initially because my, my cousin used to write songs. And I always used to ask him, I always used to say, please write me a song. Mm. And he used to say, okay, I promise you the next time I write a song, it'll, I'll give you the song and then you can go and record mm. it. And that just went on and on and on. And eventually I just thought... I'll show you, I'll write my own song. Wow. <laughs> and that's how it came about, yeah. and I just started writing my own material. Mm. And also you've done a bit of touring around Algoa country as well, hey? I have. I've done a bit of East London, uh, in and around Port mm. Elizabeth, and um, yes, the go a little bit of the garden route. If you go back like 10 years ago, like the best venue to perform at, like if you go what, what it was like then to now, which one would you rate? And you know you're going to probably annoy a lot of people, but you know there's nothing wrong with that. Yeah, uh, sorry, uh, a venue, a that, venue, uh, special venue. Mm. Oh gosh, um, that's really difficult to say. I think something that stands out was the venue where it was actually just uh, it wasn't a major show or anything. It was a modelling show. Okay. And oh, wow. I appeared as a guest artist, and uh, Nolene from Nolene Talk was yeah. there, and it was actually a very nice atmosphere. So it was nice meeting all of these people and being there and doing mm. my thing and. You know, feeling part of the whole bigger yes, picture. Yes, yes. And one of the things we always ask the guys that come in, we're like, uh, you know, the promoters and the people who book, do you always feel that... Are they doing enough? Are they doing enough? Yes. That's a, I think it's a politically correct way of asking the question. You know, I've always sort of booked my own gigs when I do a gig. And um, 
I don't know. I was once told uh, by a guy that said to me, you know, I would have booked you. I think you've got a lovely voice and everything, but you, you, you're not female. You haven't got blonde hair. And mm. sorry. Wow. Ooh. <laughs> what do you do when that happens? I mean, when that happens, what do you do? You sure. consider sex change. <laughs> oh, my goodness. I love that. <laughs> they mark a blonde. There we go. <laughs> no, well, I think, you know, like anything else, you just work mm. your way around it and go into the next opportunity. Yeah. What can you do? Over the past few years, who are some of the people you've worked with? Ah, oh, gosh. Um, you mean other singers? Singers, yeah. I have, I've never collaborated with somebody mm. specifically. Um, I've never done a duet or anything. Mm. Uh, is that something of your choice, or is it maybe not finding it's somebody just who's... It's never that? happened that way. I mm. suppose if somebody comes along and says, hey, Sean, let's, you know... Yeah. Mm. Uh, let's do, do something. something. I'll, yeah. I'll do it. Yeah, yeah sure. Let's Absolutely. do something. Yeah. Let's do it. Sing. <laughs> you finally got somebody saying that. <laughs> <laughs> so well, let's talk about some of the recordings. Mm. I mean, you've had a couple of singles over the past few years uh, that have come out, and some of them being played like uh, on UK stations as well. I mean, I mean, how does that feel? I mean, you know, it must uh, be good. It's an international platform. Well, it, it, it's amazing because. Um, what I do outside of music actually is I also teach oh. and I teach foreigners how to speak English so what I, what happens quite often is I'll get feedback from people in other countries that have said that oh we heard your songs oh. and mm. that would be without me even telling them about it and it would be China it would be Russia it could be uh, I know there's a guy mm. in in Canada that he's is quite a well-known painter <clears throat> and he inboxed me one day and he said to me, I love listening to your music while I, while I paint. Wow. <clears throat> so that, that's the sort of thing that um, I think keeps me going. Yes. You know, when you get those days and you think, why do I do this? You know, why do I even continue? And I mean, you've been doing it for a while. That is what, what, what is, so those are the things that keep you going. Because a lot of people have been in the industry, but they've just given up because it's just, yeah. it's hard. You yeah, know, it's it, hard. I mean, it's not, about, it's not just the door, one door been closed it's like they close the door you hear them locking in you hear them putting the chains to say ah we're not home game. you know uh, <laughs> sure. yeah. so so in, in 2014 what's new with you what i would like to do is um <clears throat> i would like to record a complete uh, album with just original material mm. because uh, lord knows i have enough material um so I wouldn't want to do a CD where it's, you know, seven Cause. original songs and three cover songs or something. Mm. It must be original from beginning right till then. Yeah. And um, what I do in my free time as well is I, I paint. So I would like to do a painting. I already have a painting in mind, which I would like to use as the cover. Oh. Ah. So I would like the, the, the cover to be original, the music to be original. And I would like to sort of like almost draw a line and say, okay, everything that I've recorded in the past is it's mm. gone, it's old, and start totally fresh. New and, and this is fresh. It. And yeah. just do a complete new CD of, of my own work and put it out there. And even if it's the last CD I ever do, it would be something that I know is my work, yes. it's got my achieved. name and my stamp it's on it. It's your heart. Yeah. Yes, it's your absolutely. heart. Yeah. As an artist, sure. you do put your heart in your sleeve, as they say, you know? Sure. Now, with you, um, I mean, performances as well, obviously you are in the process of, of getting bookings and stuff. If people want to find out more about you to, or get some of your music, how do they go about it? Well, I have, well, obviously I'm on, on Facebook, mm. so they can always inbox me. And um, then there is a site where they could get hold of CDs, which is DVD mm -hmm. and gifts dot Coza. Hmm. And um, and obviously those details are also on your Facebook page, eh? They are. They yeah. Are. Okay, we're going to play out with uh, Snowman. I just thought that it's a perfect song, especially it's so sunny outside. Absolutely. So, really, Yeah. What <laughs> is, <laughs> I heard them doing that on Oprah, so <laughs> leave me alone. So, Sean, explain Snow, Snowman. What, what, where did that come about? How did you come, across, come with the song? You know, Snowman is actually... It's not a personal, uh, well, it's not about my life per se. It, it's something that I think anybody could relate to. I think everybody at some point in their life, whether it happened to you in high school or as an adult or, or whenever, uh, you always at some point in your life find yourself falling in love with the wrong person mm -hmm. or not necessarily the wrong person because it's not that person's fault. Um, but you pursue that person. And the more you pursue that person, the more that person sort of like almost like moves away from yes. you mm. and uh, at some point you you draw a line you decide okay this is it i'm not going to pursue this pe person any longer and then 
as the hand of fate works that that person then turns around and pursues you. Ah. So they realize and that. You, you and then you're like, like uh, okay, seriously? I'll cut off. I can't go exactly. back. And that's the story of Snowman because in the first uh, verse, it basically is a, it's, it's a little bit of a uh, self-denial where it says, I don't need no one. I can make it on my own. Mm. I don't need no one. I'm fine on my own. Uh, but it's a, it's, it's a little bit of a self-denial. And then the chorus compares the snowman holding on but it's inevitable because the snowman yes, melts so yeah. it's going to like melt, a snowman yeah. holding on to what's gone like a snowman staying out of the sun wow so it, it Sean, I can't, you're I can't deep. To. Yeah. <laughs> Sean, you're deep. <laughs> I'm deep. I did not see that coming. <laughs> Thanks for your time this afternoon. We're going to play out yeah. with a snowman. And, uh, yeah, wish you well. And uh, when you've done with the painting and the song, let us know. Please. You know? Please. Please. We'll be and right thank behind you. you. Thank you. Sean on the Friday Music Club. This song is called Snowman. Take a listen to the lyrics as well. This is I'll Go FM. The Friday Music Club on Algoa FM. I don't need no one. I can make it on my own. I don't need no one. I am fine on my own. I was in love with you. It was only you. You didn't feel the same. So I ended the game. Like a snowman Staying out of the sun Like a snowman Melting away day by day Like a snowman Staying out of the sun Like a snowman Holding on to what's gone Like a snowman your mind, saying that you were wrong, you always cared for me, I cannot now retreat, we can't go back in time, no one stays the same, another broken heart, going round on a Ferris wheel, like a snowman. on I'll Go FM, the Friday Music Club guests on this Friday. Yes, wonderful. I will put on uh, details on our Facebook page, Mio and Queenie on Radio for details and how to get hold of him. If you're an artist across Algoa country and uh, you want to be joining us uh, on a Friday afternoon at 2.30, you can do so. Head over to algoafm.co.za or send an email through to mc at algoafm.co.za.